Hey everyone and welcome to the screencast for December 16th. I hope you were able to get outside and enjoy the sun, which I don't think we've seen in a couple months. So it was great uh, for me to be outside and uh, just soak some of that up. So anyway, one last week of school and uh, we are ready. So a couple things to be aware of. We have a couple birthdays coming up this week. So congratulations to those two people. We have a staff meeting on Wednesday, so be aware of that. Teachers will meet there. Uh, there are some parties happening on Thursday for grade one, kindergarten, second grade. Um, so that's kind of good, and third grade. And uh, we have our staff holiday brunch on Friday with a as student assembly at 9.30. So a number of fun things happening. Um, also got a couple of reminders on the side. Remember that Secret Santas, if you signed up for that, our Monday takes place Monday through Friday this week. Um, we will... I know that uh, whoever is your secret Santa will show themselves on Friday at our staff brunch. And then also, um, like I said, we have an assembly. Um, Les was here at our last staff meeting. He was very complimentary of the things that we're doing and, uh, and what's happening. I think it's great for him to get out and really see what's happening in schools. Um, so that was good to hear. And uh, also, not that you don't know it already, but last week before great break, we can make it. So thank you for all you're doing. Speaking of thanking people, thank you Sunshine Committee and Kristen for hosting our winter party at Kristen's house. It was a lot of fun. It was great to see everybody and just to be able to relax and laugh and uh, just uh, have a little bit of uh, community time. So thanks again Sunshine Committee and Kristen for hosting that. It was a lot of fun. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about quickly is the end of the day um, buses all of those type of things. I'm, I'm really uh, trying to think about how to make this work the best. Uh, a couple things I could really use your help with and uh, for safety and just to avoid general chaos at the end of the day, uh, as a reminder, please walk your students all the way to the buses. Um, if a bus isn't there, please have your students line up on the bus line. I know that can be kind of confusing. We have our younger kids out there first and they are lining up. Uh, so teachers of older grades, as you're coming out, if you see that there is um, if there are students on the line and if you can figure out what bus that is, please have your students line up behind there so that we don't have everybody making a mad dash for the buses. Um, and, and that's something I'm going to keep working on. I have some other ideas to go uh, to follow up on about uh, buses at the end of the day after winter break. Uh, but anything you can do to help with that would be greatly appreciated. Literacy Math Night, February 28th. Last year, uh, we had a Literacy Night, and I have to say um, it was one of the highlights of the year for a lot of families. Uh, as a reminder, we had different games and activities celebrating literacy, and this year we wanted to do math and literacy, and I started thinking, what about having both of those on the same night uh, rather than um, having them on two different nights. It might make it easier for us, for those of you that can and want to, to be part of that and to help out with that. So our plan right now is to have that on February 28th. Um, and uh, we'll run it the same as Literacy Night like we did last year, but this time there will be math activities too. Um, using the gym, lunchroom, kids of fire room, um, media, and I'm sure some classrooms too. So excited about that. I know uh, it's a great way to show off some of the things that we're doing in our school and just to have an opportunity uh, to show neat math and literacy things that are happening and uh, just, just have some fun with our families. So looking forward to that. We will start planning that after winter break and I'm sure we'll be asking for those of you that would like to help with that. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, something, I have a couple uh, things to share regarding staff news. Uh, first off, Stacy Keefe, congratulations. Um, Stacy is, go is going to be a secretary at Jefferson High School. In fact, uh, she will be taking the position that Amy Steffen um, had prior to coming to Westwood. So we have a little bit of a swap here in, in staffing. So we all will definitely miss you, uh, Stacy. Uh, we are excited for your, for your new uh, position and wish you well. And uh, so Stacy will be here through uh, this week. Uh, so winter break, uh, we will be making that switch. And so I have posted that position and uh, we will see who we get. Um, so looking forward uh, to new adventures for you, Stacy. but I know you'll come back and visit us and uh, see us. So there you have that. And also you can see we have a new member, or, or, or new community member for Westwood School, Taylor Dury. Uh, welcomed Milo 
Charles Dury at 2.41 a.m. on Saturday morning. Um, Taylor and, and Milo are doing well. Uh, and Taylor, I really hope I'm saying the name right and it's not Milo, but I believe it's Milo. So anyway, we are excited for you and for that new adventure in your life. And uh, we have Jacqueline who will be filling in for Long Call Reserve. She is set to go on Monday. So welcome, Jacqueline. Uh, we are excited for you to be here too. So that's all I have. Hey, let's make it a great last week of school. Thanks for everything that everybody is doing. Um, and uh, let's make it a great week. Take care, everyone.